Welcome to Tubi Talk, everybody. I'm Professor Pennyman. And uh, first, our, our first, this is our inaugural show here. So um, really, really special first guest here from the movie Fun Girl. We have uh, the star of the movie, uh, Coco, uh, in the house. To, first of all, Coco, how are you? I'm good. How you doing? <laughs> Every, everything's good. Look, uh, so uh, those of you, you know, what this uh, what this show is going to do is going to take a closer look at so many of the great movies that we have on Tubi. Maybe some of you all at home don't really uh, haven't really had the opportunity to have a closer look um, at some of these movies and the stars in these movies. So Fun Girl is the is the very first one we're going to jump into. Why? Because Fun Girl was filmed in my hometown, Cleveland, Ohio. So uh, always have to represent for those guys. So first off, Coco, uh, just a, just. Uh, I guess we'll just sort of briefly dive in here. So, Fun Girl. What's um, I've seen the movie, and for those of you who have seen it, Coco plays uh, the star of the movie. She sort of... Uh, so, let's just start from the beginning. So, you start the movie, you're sitting in the car, and you have a boyfriend, and you find out that he's got a kid on the way from somebody else, and you just kind of lost it. That was like, you were done, right? I was done. I'm like, OMG. And it's crazy because I actually, um, when we was filming that, I just went off my head. Those were in lines. Those that just came out my mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so just think about the movie from uh, from the beginning. How did you get that part? Um. So actually, I'm a singer, and um, a friend of mine, an old friend of mine, he introduced me to the opportunity, and he was like, "Hey, I think you will play this role really well." So he. Um, I met the producer and then I, um, I auditioned and she just gave me the role. But once I read the script, I'm like, I don't know about this because it's sex scenes. I don't know about the sex scenes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the sex yeah. scenes really threw me off. Right, right. No. So, I mean, let's, I guess since you brought it up, let's talk about that. So obviously you start the movie, you were the first boyfriend or whoever situation ship, whatever you want to call it. And you're like, oh, hell no. You got a kid on the way. You go through his phone, right? Find out he has a kid on the way. And then you sort of gravitate more towards the start of basketball team. Now you guys are in college, correct? Yes. So you guys are in college. So you you sort of start gravitating towards the the, the star of the, uh, of the basketball team. So... Uh, just sort of talk about that and, and really like, um, you know, kind of where the director was trying to go with that, with that portion of the movie. Um, so like basically Coco is a girl. She just can't be alone. You know, and she just, you know, she just hopped from dude to do, but she is focused. She's, she on her work, you know, she doing her schoolwork. She doing everything that she's supposed to do. So she feel like, that she can, you can, she can have her cake and she can eat it too. But in the meantime, you know, she kind of getting distracted with the boys and falling in love, falling in and out of love, keep on getting in these toxic relationships. So that's really, that's really what Coco is going through, trying to, trying to manage school and trying to manage these boys. Right. So it seemed like Coco was just a young uh, woman trying to navigate life. And you had a lot of help from your friend who I think she was kind of part time friend. Seemed like she was kind of part time friend or part time hater. Right. As, as far as uh, the direction she was trying to turn you in, because it didn't seem like she liked any of the of the guys who you uh, had involvement with. Talk about that a little bit. Exactly. Um, and it's, it's really crazy because this is how it is in real life. Like, you know, your friend, they just be so in your business. Like, you, you're not giving me space. You're suffocating me. I can't even think for myself. As long as you're thinking for me, I cannot think for myself, you know? So she just played her role really well to the point where I kind of got irritated. Like, girl, calm down. <laughs> calm down. But, yeah, she she just was playing her role like, hey, um, I think I think more so she was just being a friend, a good friend for her. I don't think – I don't feel like she was being a hater. But some of the things that I was saying to her made her come back at me like, hey – Girl, I can get one if if I can, but the dudes that you messing with, they ain't it. So why are you even trying to give me advice? That's how you know. That's why I'm so catty. You know, you can't tell me nothing because <laughs> look what you're going through. You exactly, know? exactly. So it was. How hard was it to you know? Um, obviously, you have your personality in, in real life, and so how hard was it to sort of melt into the role of Coco? Oh, that's a, that's, now that's, that's one. 
That's one. Because, <laughs> you know, you don't want to be looked at as delusional. <laughs> right. You don't right. want to be. So it, it was kind of fun fact. This was my first movie. This was my first time acting. So nice. it was, it was kind of really hard for me to, like, get out of, like, perky mode. Oh, hi, I'm Coco, opposed to just talking like my normal self. So that was like one of the um, challenges that I went through. And then also just trying to get into Coco's mindset, like, you know, how delusional she is. She thinks that she's doing the right things. You know, it's, it just, it was really hard, but the people that was around me, they helped me, they guided me, and that's how I feel like I executed that role so well. You know, because they, they definitely helped me a lot. Yeah, that's pretty dope. So when you think about um, the character, and like you talked about, I mean, it was going to be really difficult for you to pull off some of these sex scenes. That's what you talked about. So um, you have those. And then you have the clip that kind of went viral. I, I'm just smiling. So I think you have an, uh, a sort of an inkling in what I'm talking about. So you're in the shower and then, you know, n nobody knows what's going on. It looks like you got some sort of STD or some sort of infection going on. All I know is that clip hit social media and, and it went viral and everyone was like, what the hell we got going on here? Talk about how that was and just what number one, uh, where you had to take yourself to mentally in order to uh, make that play that so well. And then just talk about, you know, how it went viral and just how cool that was. Um, that is, it's, it's just so funny because the producer said like that is going viral before we even dropped the movie. So it's, that's the funniest part. <laughs> like it's going viral. It's going viral. So we was all just cracking up. We got like 1.2 million views right now, but, um, how I executed it, um, it's it just, it's a normal thing. Like, this is a normal thing that a lot of women go through. You know, and she and the producer, and her mindset, she just was like, hey, um, this is this is going to be very informative. This is going let to let a lot of people know, like, hey, yeast infections are normal. Bacterial, and bac bacteria, and and bacteria <laughs> infections are very normal. So it's not just from... Um, you know, it's not a sexually transmitted disease or whatever. But, of course, everybody thinks, like, hey, that's a sexually transmitted disease. But that's where we wanted people's minds to go anyway because, you know, everybody loves controversy. But, yeah, uh, my mind said I just was like, do it. Just do it. Just get it over with. Do it. It is what it is. <laughs> Uh, it was really good. Look, I mean, that was one of the first things I saw when I started looking at the movie, and I and I saw it was filmed back in Cleveland. I was like, "What do we have here? What's going on here?" That's part. But look, though, I mean, th those are things that help sell a movie. So I, I think that's uh, I think it works out pretty well. So as we kind of progress through the movie, you know, uh, sort of like anybody who's had any sort of hood relationship, you kind of know how that goes. So the basketball stars, he moves on. He lets you know that, hey, look. You were cool. It was fun while it lasted, but I got a lot going on. I got a lot of different females. I'm about to go to the NBA, all that stuff. I saw some of the clips. I don't know how he made the NBA, but he don't even jump on his jump shot, whatever like that, but whatever. <laughs> so, so he's about to go to the NBA, and you're like, um, he basically just cast you off to the side. I mean, what was up with that? Ain't right. Can't get right. Nah. It was... I don't understand. That's that's one thing. Just to be very real, I don't understand why men or you know just people in relationships do that. Why can't you just be real? Why can't you just be real? Like what's it's hard. Going it's on? hard. It, it it's not hard. <laughs> it is not hard to be honest. So in Coco's mindset in the uh, movie. It's like, dang, I thought I was the girlfriend. I thought I was number one. I didn't know that I was the side girl. I did not know that I was the side girl, but this whole time, I'm the side girl. I'm, so it just was like, what the? It's like a whoosh. But that's a lot. That's Once again, this is a normal thing that goes on. So this just shows people like, hey, be real. Be honest. Because at the end of the day, you know, now, you're, now you want your side piece to be your main piece. Let's look, now you understand my pain. It's hard. You know, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard being a man. You got. You got to. You got to. And and this guy's about to go to the NBA. I mean, you know, he he doesn't have time for just one. You know, it's hard. Well, just say that he couldn't say that. You got to go call your mom. You got to call this person. You got to call your. Auntie. I know. You call everybody. 
Right, to help right, you right. Make a decision. <laughs> hey, well, look. In all fairness, though, he, look, he, he had the gift of gab. I mean, you you were like really pissed when you didn't hear from him for like a week. You go over to his house. You kind of act like you want to leave, but not really. You, you stay, and then you know you guys have another sex scene or anything like that. So before we get out of here, before we're done. How do you get yourself mentally? I just want to know when it comes to sex scenes and everything like that, just how do you get yourself in that place mentally to be able to execute that and pull that off? Oh, man, I want to be very transparent, but I'm trying to keep it at a minimum. <laughs> no, it's fine. Hey, we're, look, we're here. We're having a lot of fun here. Just just say what's on your mind, you know. So it was so hard for me because I am in a relationship and I just was thinking about my partner. Like, well, how is this going to affect my relationship? Mm -hmm. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But my partner, um, she is very supportive. And also my family, because I was thinking about my family, like they're going to look at me crazy. But like I said, it's a good opportunity to get myself out there. But my mindset was like, just do it. Just get it done and over with. You're not doing it for real. I didn't have to get like butt naked. I didn't have to do nothing. I had on pasties and then I had on thongs, you know. So, I mean, of course, it's a lot of humping going on. <laughs> but, I feel, I feel it. but I just was like, just get it over with. Just get it over with. Even though we had to shoot it over and over and over, you just got to get it over with and keep going. Don't think about it too much. That's how I got through it. Just not thinking about it too much, you know. That's it. I can't. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right. So, so kind of as we as we talk about the fallout here, what's how's life been for you after filming that movie? Um, it's been it's been okay. Um, I've been getting a lot of feedback from a lot of women, like, "Hey, you um did a really good job on the movie." Um, you just told my life story. Thank you so much. A lot of women been reaching out to me like, dang, like this, you you kind of triggering me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, but yeah. And a lot of people just been reaching out to me, asking me like, how do we, how do they get into acting roles and all of that? I'm like, I don't, I, I'm not the producer. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm just the actor. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Hey, you look, I mean, you know, you're still trying to make your footprint. So, so, yes, so, for sure, for sure. So my last question is what's next for Coco? So, um, actually I'm looking for more roles to, um, to get in right now. And also I'm getting back into my music because that's my first love, my music okay. and then acting. You know, this is the industry that I want to be in. So I'm just going to keep pursuing acting, music, model, all of it. The entertainment industry, I feel like that's for me. So you definitely will be seeing me in more movies and, you know, my music going to be popping soon. So. Well, I tell you what, uh, nice to, you know, really sit down with you and sort of find out more about you. And uh, here, and like I said, you were the first guest here on 2B Talk. So uh, you sort of popped it for us. So it's, so it's all good. And we appreciate you and we appreciate your time. Everyone, uh, look, we'll be back with more uh, 2B Talk segments as we move forward. I'm, once again, I'm the professor, uh, Professor Pennyman. Coco, once again, we hope to see you soon. Hope to see you in many more roles. Thank you so much, Professor Pennyman. Thank you. <laughs>